Writers connect one paragraph to another using transition words. Let's practice using transitions to move from one paragraph to another. Please have your LearnZillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. The topic is what a text is all about. For example, if you were writing an essay about why school is important, then your topic would be why school is important. A paragraph is a group of sentences that are all about the same thing. In expository writing, paragraphs give more information about a topic. For example, in an essay about why school is important, one paragraph might give information about how school is a good place to make friends, and a different paragraph could give information about how school teaches you important things. Notice that each paragraph gives the reader different information about the topic, why school is important. Expository writing is usually structured to start with an introduction paragraph that states what the topic is and gives some background information about it. Next comes the body paragraphs, which give more information about the topic. Last comes the conclusion which summarizes the main idea of the text and restates the topic in a new way. Writers use transitions to connect ideas. The type of transition you use will depend on what kind of connection you are trying to make. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how writers use transitions to connect ideas in one paragraph to ideas in another paragraph. This helps readers understand how all the paragraphs in a text work together. Some common transitions that can be used to connect the introduction to the first body paragraph are first of all and to begin with. Notice how a transition is always followed by a comma that's really important to remember. Some common transitions that connect the body paragraphs are next, second of all, or in addition. Some transition words to connect the conclusion paragraph are in conclusion or in summary. Using transitions signals to your reader that a new paragraph is starting and helps connect your writing together. Look at this draft and underline the transitions at the beginning of the body paragraphs and the conclusion paragraph. Stop the video now and press play when you are done. Let's see how you did. First of all, tells us that this is the first reason why school is important. In addition, tells us that this is an additional reason why school is important. In conclusion, tells us that the essay is coming to an end. Here is a draft of an essay I have been working on. Physical athletes are people who compete in sports or physical exercise. Physical athletes train their bodies to perform incredible feats from running marathons to hitting home runs. A mental athlete is a person who competes with others using their mind instead of their bodies. Mental athletes train their brains to memorize huge amounts of words, numbers, or pictures quickly. While there are many differences between mental athletes and physical athletes, they are also alike in many ways. Mental athletes have to train just like physical athletes do. A football player might train by lifting weights or running on a track. A mental athlete also trains, but their training might include memorizing names in a phone book or writing down a list of hundreds of words from memory. Mental athletes compete in competitions. Football players compete in the Super Bowl. Soccer players compete in the World Cup and baseball players compete in the World Series. Mental athletes have their own competitions, such as the USA Memory Championship. At this event, mental athletes participate in games such as names and faces. In this game, athletes are given 15 minutes to look at pictures of 117 people and memorize their first and last names. Mental athletes and physical athletes are similar in many ways. Both train incredibly hard and compete in tough competitions to test their skills. 
I realize when I read this that I haven't included any transitions to help connect my paragraphs. I need to revise this to include transitions that help my reader move from one paragraph to another. Let's take a look at the first two paragraphs of my draft. Here we have the introduction, and here we have the first body paragraph. I need to think about how I can connect the ideas in these paragraphs to help my reader understand what I'm trying to say. Let's find a transition to connect the introduction to the first body paragraph. Put a check next to the transitions that will help our reader understand that this is the first way in which physical athletes and mental athletes are alike. Stop the video now and push play when you are done. Let's see how you did. These transitions use words like first and begin to show our readers that this is the first way these athletes are similar. I used to begin with in my revision, but I could also have used first of all. Next, we need to connect our first body paragraph to our next body paragraph. I need to think about how to show my reader that I'm starting a new paragraph about another way that these athletes are alike. Put a check next to the transitions that will help our reader understand that this is another way in which physical athletes and mental athletes are alike. Pause the video now and press play when you are done. Let's check your work. These transitions use words like addition and second to show our reader that this is an additional way these athletes are similar. We're almost there, but we have one more connection to make. Here we have the conclusion paragraph to our essay. I need to think about how I can show my reader that I am starting a new paragraph that's going to conclude or finish my essay. Put a check next to any transitions that will help our reader understand that this is the end of our essay. Pause the video now and push play when you are done. Okay, it's time to check your work. These transitions use words like conclusion and summary to show readers that our essay is coming to an end. Now that we have revised our text to include transitions, let's take a look at our essay. Physical athletes are people who compete in sports or physical exercise. Physical athletes train their bodies to perform incredible feats from running marathons to hitting home runs. A mental athlete is a person who competes with others using their mind instead of their bodies. Mental athletes train their brains to memorize huge amounts of words, numbers, or pictures quickly. While there are many differences between mental athletes and physical athletes, they are also alike in many ways. To begin with, mental athletes have to train just like physical athletes do. A football player might train by lifting weights or running on a track. A mental athlete also trains, but their training might include memorizing names in a phone book or writing down a list of hundreds of words from memory. In addition, mental athletes compete in competitions. Football players compete in the Super Bowl, soccer players compete in the World Cup, and baseball players compete in the World Series. Mental athletes have their own competitions, such as the USA Memory Championship. At this event, mental athletes participate in games such as Names and Faces. In this game, athletes are given 15 minutes to look at pictures of 117 people and memorize their first and last names. In conclusion, mental athletes and physical athletes are similar in many ways. Both train incredibly hard and compete in tough competitions to test their skill. Wow! Now that we've included transitions, it is so much clearer how each paragraph is connected. 
Now it's your turn. Read this draft and revise it using what you have learned in this lesson. Pause the video now. When you are done, hit play. Look at your own writing and revise it to make sure you are using transitions to connect one paragraph to another. Now you know how to use transitions to signal that a new paragraph is starting and show your reader how the ideas in your text are connected. This will make it easier for your reader to follow what you are trying to say.